This one is Hayden. She is the girl. She weighs the least. She is also the silliest. Always very playful. She also tends to spend the most time alone while the other ones stay together. This is Moxie. This is our one-year-old cat. She doesn't like the chair. She actually has taken this kittens on as her own. They're not hers. She takes care of them though, like they're her own. She is a sweetheart. She's also very hyper. This one is Tiger. He is easily our most playful male. He's our only male and he is very wild. He is never not playing, but he's also very sweet and very adorable. Always play biting. Very, very rough on the other ones though. Sometimes I have to put them apart because they're crying. Hayden, this is Blackberry. Very adventurous, also by far the sweetest. Usually always around Moxie, the mom. Well, the wannabe mom. Sleeps with me at night. It is the sweetest, most calm one. Also very playful, but that's just because she is a kitten. I think she wants to get in this box. She loves boxes very much. Hello. 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 What are you doing? What are you doing, little guy? Little girl? Playing? She's very playful with all of them. Also licks them and loves on them. Ow, ow. Very sweet with them. I don't know what she's gonna do when they're not around. They are actually our foster cats. We've had them for 11 weeks. I know they're still so tiny. They are 11 weeks old, ow, this Saturday. And we are keeping them probably a few more weeks. Get them, Tiger, get them, get them, get them. Hayden, this is Sasha. I've had her for 16 years. She is kind of the grandma cat. She has been with me through so much. She is the sweetest. She sleeps with me every night, but she's not a big people person. She just runs away and goes by herself. Also, she is not a big fan of the cats at all. She typically runs away from them. Not a big fan. Watch. I'll get one for you. They are always playing. She loves Moxie, though. They're very close. Come here, crazy. Let me get you. Let me get you. Watch. Don't want to stress her out or anything, but she is not a fan. She'll either run away or hiss, usually. Sorry, Sasha. Sorry. They are super hyper, so they tend to keep her on her toes. I try to keep a baby gate near my room so that during the day she has somewhere to go where they don't torment her because she's older and I don't want her to be stressed out. This is Aubrey's room. It's very messy at the moment. Tiger, what are you doing, Tiger? I don't really know their names all that well. Very playful. This one, I just started giving medicine to because it's kind of got a goopy eye. It started sneezing recently. The other ones aren't. They seem to be pretty healthy, but they all have a lot of energy and they are always constantly playing. I very rarely see them sleep. The black one sleeps with me at night. Hey, Moxie. Moxie. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? They seem to really like hiding behind this thing. They seem to like to play in it. <laughs> hey, Blackberry.
Look at them, they're all so sweet. It's very rare to see them actually sitting still though. They might come and tell you hi for a second and then it's right back running off to play. They definitely aren't super cuddly right now. They get a lot of attention, but they mostly just wanna play. They're very high energy. Mostly because this one gets them all started. Plays with them. She's a year, but she is just as hyper as these kittens, if not more at times. I got her when she was six weeks old from my mom. She has, my mom has her mom. So yeah, mom is Lexi. She is a very good and sweet cat. High energy though, likes to get into everything. Four in the morning, likes to jump on me until I get up and or likes to play with her ball. She has this one ball that she literally carries around everywhere. So yeah, I pulled it in here before she had a chance to get her ball, but she literally sleeps with the ball, like all the time. If you see her, she has her ball. We're gonna go get her ball for her and see what she does. This is Moxie's favorite toy. She literally takes it with her everywhere. I wake up in the morning and it's literally right beside me. It used to look so much better. Now she takes it with her everywhere. Cookies. Sometimes I play catch with her, but literally anywhere she is, so is the ball. It's actually quite hilarious. She acts like a dog when it comes to that ball. She has to take it with her everywhere. I'll tell her, I'll call her name and tell her it's bedtime and she'll pick it up in her mouth and take it with her to the bed, which is super funny because she is a cat, not a dog. Hey, babies. They are crazy. Bless you. This one loves this thing. Loves it. Stays in it all the time. For some reason, just they love to jump in and out and play with each other in it. Hey, Moxie. Hello, kitty kitty. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Gentle. This used to be such a great chair, cute inflated chair. <sighs> Poor Aubrey, these guys have ruined it. I have to get her a new one because they have ruined it. They love to get on here and bite it, and play and wrestle. This is our community water and food. They literally make such a mess. This one loves to get all the way in it. For some reason, well, another reason, we used to have a smaller bowl, but with it getting in like this, no matter what the size is, likes to get all the way in, it would get absolutely everywhere, even more than it already is. This actually isn't so bad compared to how it used to be. So, they just all try to get in, in there. This one always is the worst at getting all the way in there. We'll do it right away. Makes it harder for the other ones to eat. I don't know. Crazy cats. Poor Moxie. <laughs> Poor Moxie. Can't get in there. She's so patient with these cats. So patient. Poor baby. Poor baby. This crazy one. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Are you being sweet? 